Welcome to Techie Jack. In this video, we will see how to create a Azure virtual network and subnets. Before creating a VNet, let's get the overview of VNet and subnets. You can consider a Azure virtual network as your own network in the Azure cloud. You can use the VNets to provision and manage VPNs in Azure. Therefore, you can also link the VNets with other VNet in the Azure or with your on-premises IT infrastructure to create a hybrid or cross-premises solution. And subnets provide the logical division within your network. It can help to improve security. It increases the performance and make it easier to manage the network. So let's go to the Azure portal and get started. So now we are inside the Azure portal. If we go to the resource group, it is empty. So we want to create a virtual network first. So let's go to this menu and you can see the virtual network here. So let me click on this virtual network. Either you can hit this create button or you can click this one as well, create virtual network. It's asking a resource group name. So let's create a new resource group for this. I will say new resource group, new RG01 and we'll click on OK. So this is the name of our new resource group, new RG1. And inside that, the instance of the virtual network name will be my VNet01. And the region, let's select the region as a central US. So this is my subscription that is a MSDN platform. And we have created a resource group by the name of new RG01. Name of the virtual network instance will be my VNet01. And let's go and click on next the IP address. So by default, it is taking this one, even though you can add a new subnet as well here. Review and create it by default way. We will try to add a subnet again. The validation has been passed and let's create it. Deployment is in progress. It says the deployment is completed. Go to the resource. So this is my VNet. If I go to the home and inside the resource group, you can see we have a new RG that is our resource group. And inside this resource group, we have created the VNet that is my VNet 01. And inside this VNet, if we go and see here subnet, right now there is a default subnet. If we want to add a new subnet, you can just click on add and let's give a name as a subnet one and the subnet address range is 10.0.10.0 slash 24 and I will click on save. So subnet one is created. If you want to delete this default one, we can go and delete this and I will create a subnet two. It has been deleted and let's click on again the subnet button once again. And here we can type it as a 10.0.2.0 and I will type the name as subnet2 and we can click on save. So this way you can create multiple subnet. If you want to create more, you can create three or four subnet according to your need. And we have a two different subnet 10.0.1.0 and 10.0.2.0. Now, if you want to create a virtual machine, we can associate our virtual machine with these two different subnets. Let's go to the resource group once again and go to the home. If you see the virtual machine, if you want to create a virtual machine, you can click on this virtual machine. And if you create a virtual machine, I will select a resource group that is new RG01, which we have created and virtual machine name will be VM1, same region that is inside the central US. I'm keeping the thing as a default only let's go and install the Windows 2016 data center instead of Ubuntu and let me put the username and password. I'm trying to create a basic machine standard B1 MS and let's go and click on next and I will keep the things default here and inside the networking here we want to see the things virtual network that is my VNet01 which we have created. We want to put this machine inside this uh, virtual network and the subnet we have created two subnet that so let me put this machine here rest of the things will be default and let's go and quickly review and create it so the validation is passed let's create the machine the deployment is in progress and i will go here and again i will create a new virtual machine and i will place that virtual machine vm2 inside the another subnet so this is a vm2 and i will put it inside the subnet 2 and will review and create the machine you can create up to 251 host machine inside a each subnet what we have selected here the validation is passed let me create it now both the vm has been deployed let's go to the home inside the resource 
host manager we have a new rg01 and inside that we have a my vnet01 and if you see the subnet we have a two subnet one host has been added to each of the subnet now the available ip is 250 and 250 and the good thing is that the both subnet one and two have the communication and that's what i want to show you so we have a two vm here vm1 and vm2 so if i open this vm1 and vm2 let's try to connect with as a remote desktop i have taken the remote of both the machine and if i do the ip config you can see the 10.0.1.4 same way it has a 10.0.2.4 if i try to ping them i will ping 10.0.1.4 it's not pinging it's not pinging just due to the firewall if we go here if i enable this icmp let me close this if i try to ping it again now you can see it is it has a communication and same way if here i will try to ping the 10.0.2.4 it has a communication because i have turned off the firewall for this computer for just checking the communication so there is a communication between these two subnets what you can do you can create a site to site connection or point to site connection with this my vnet that is a virtual network you can get connected with your on premises there will be a connection secure connection between azure and your on premises that's why the virtual network is used for i hope the video was useful and now you know how to create a virtual network subnet and how you can deploy your virtual machine in a different subnet Thank you for watching and subscribe the channel for more upcoming videos on Azure, Microsoft Exchange, PowerShell scripting and hybrid server configuration.